Hey, hey, here we go. Here we go. We're back at it again. we back at it again. Mr. 500, Mr. 500, Mr. 500 is here to teach you again. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and get this thing started, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at one of my favorites here. We're going to be looking at one of my real favorites. Me. And I'm not talking about my demeanor. Because I'm usually a, I'm a nice guy. We're talking about arithmetic mean here. We're talking about doing problems that have to deal with the mean. Another word for the mean, sometimes people like to call it the average. And of course, arithmetic mean is the most accurate name for this. But, at least for the first one, we're going to talk about a lot of different memes right here. And that's what I mean when I'm talking about mean. All right. So here's what we need to do. We basically need to add all numbers, all right, the number symbol. And then we're going to divide by our amount. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't know what happened there. I started writing a little messed up. We're going to divide by our amount of numbers, all right, ladies and gentlemen? It's pretty easy, but we do got to practice. And the more practice we do, the easier this becomes, all right? So let's go ahead and get it. All right, so we're looking at this problem. Tim was given the following list of numbers. We got two, we got four, we got 16, 256, and 65,536. What is the mean of this list? Ladies and gentlemen, when they ask for the mean, by itself, just the mean, we're gonna go ahead and add all the numbers, like two plus four plus 16, plus 256 plus 65,536 and then we're going to divide by the amount of numbers so in this case I got myself one. Oh, oh I don't want to use that that's a little bit too too good too too bright one two three four five got five numbers so we're going to go ahead and divide by five and now we can do this problem so ladies and gentlemen you gotta bust out your fancy two we're gonna bust out our hand daddy calculator good friend and so let's do it we're gonna go ahead and hit two enter four plus 16 plus 256 plus and 65,536 plus we're almost done i got 6.58 times 10 to the fourth okay that's what i see but we gotta divide by five and now we got a great answer 1.32 times 10 to the fourth. All right. Now, of course, we could go ahead and write it another way. 13200. Zero, zero. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it's as easy as that. But now we just got to do the problems. All right. So let's get it popping. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at this problem right here. We're going to go ahead and look that Fibonacci sequence. Oh, yeah. I love me some Fibonacci sequence. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. The Fibonacci sequence is given as 1 plus 1. Oh, sorry, sorry. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. And then it even tells us where each term is the sum of the previous two terms. So what we got to do is calculate the mean of the first 10 terms. So that already telling us we're going to divide by what? What are we going to divide by? We're going to divide by 10. But let's go ahead and make sure we got these numbers correct. We got 1. We got plus one, that's two numbers, plus two, plus three, plus five, that's five numbers right there, plus eight, six numbers, plus 13, seven numbers. Now we gotta figure out the next one. So the next number is gonna be eight plus 13. Eight plus 13, we do the math, 21. Okay, that's the eighth number. Next number after that is gonna be 13 plus 21, 34. That's the ninth number. We got one more after that. 21 plus 34, 55. And there you go. So we can go ahead and just count them, make sure we got them. We got one, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh, eight. And let me go ahead and delete that. Eight, nine, and 10. So let's go ahead and now get this answer. We're going to divide all this by what? By 10. And that's how we do this problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to bust out my handy dandy good friend right here. One enter. One plus. Two plus. Three plus. Five plus. Eight plus. Thirteen plus. Twenty-one plus. Thirty-four plus. Fifty-five plus. Now that we got them all in our calculator, we're going to hit 10 divide. 
And guess what our answer is going to be? 1.43 times 10 to the first. Or if you want to write it in standard form, 14.3. Easy as that. Let's keep it going, okay? Now, check this out. In this case, in this case, they already tell us we got an average. The mean of eight numbers is 92.7, all right? The mean of eight numbers is 92.7, all right? So how did they do that? Well, they added up eight numbers and then divided it by eight to get the mean, which is 92.7, okay? If a 100, okay, so 100, whoa, whoa, 100, what's that? What's that? That's this number right here. That's 100. And then not only that, and an 81. So an 81 is that number are added to the group of numbers. Calculate the new mean okay so we got a new we got a new problem a new mean here so what we got to remember is that we have eight numbers already added all right so hmm if there's eight numbers that were added and they make 92.7 as the mean what we could do here is get the eight the eight numbers and we could multiply it by 92.7 because what we're pretty much saying is that each of these eight numbers will average out to 92.7. So really, we could just multiply 92.7 times eight and we'll have the sum of the eight numbers, all right? That's the same as the sum of the eight numbers. But we're gonna add two more to it. We're gonna go ahead and add a 100 and we're gonna add an 81. Now, some people may go ahead and divide by three because they say, oh, there's only three numbers, 92.7, 181. Nah, eh, 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 eh. We actually have eight numbers. We got eight numbers here from that 92.7 because we added eight numbers. So it's not just eight numbers we're gonna divide by. We added two more to that. So technically we're gonna divide by 10 because we got the old mean of eight numbers we got two more new numbers, and that's where it comes from. So now we can do this problem, all right, ladies and gentlemen? We got 92.7, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit eight, multiply. Then we got 100, we're gonna add it. We got 81, add it up. Then 10, divide. Notice how this kinda changes this a little bit. It's close to 92.7, because there's eight numbers that are 92.7, essentially but it actually dropped it a little bit. We're gonna end up with 9.23 times 10 to the first, or 92.3. And that's how you do this mean problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, okay? Calculate the arithmetic mean. Uh oh I like this one, because now they're using the fancy word of the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit. Okay, so you gotta actually know some math here. Boiling point of water, boiling point of water, this thing, and not only in uh, boiling point, but we gotta know that actual temperature. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's 212 degrees, okay? 212 degrees. The freezing point, the freezing point of water in, not Celsius, but Fahrenheit. So we got that coming up here too. And so in this problem right here, the freezing point of water is actually gonna go ahead and be 32 degrees, okay? Boom, boom, that's that one. The number of ounces in a gallon. Now, off the top of my head, I kinda forgot. Well, not really, I didn't really forget. But there's always things that you could do. You could always look up some of these answers, some of these things, if you didn't know. But, in this case, there's four quarts in a gallon, and each quart is 32 ounces. So we could get 32 times four. And in this problem, the number of ounces in the gallon right here, this one right here, is actually gonna be 128, all right? And then the number of feet in the mile, we still gotta know our conversions. So the number of feet in the mile, well, I know there's 1,760 yards in a mile and I know there's three feet in one yard so we could basically multiply 1760 1760 times three 
and we end up with 5280 or 5280 all right so now we can do this problem all right ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna go ahead and get 212 plus 32 plus 128 plus 5280 how many numbers did we add well, we added four so we're gonna divide by four so let's bust out our calculator tool to 10 to 12 i apologize to 12 enter 32 plus 128 plus and 5280 plus and then we're gonna get four and hit divide and now we got our answer 1.41 times 10 to the third or 1410 easy as that ladies and gentlemen so let's keep it going let's keep it going here all right let's keep it going so we got ourselves a company made a log of seven different employees actual on task hours in a 40 hour work week so we got seven different employees we're probably going to add seven numbers one showed 40 hours so we could go ahead and set that up we got 140 hours okay then we got ourselves the next two at 39 all right so we're gonna go ahead and get two at 39 so we could put 39 twice here we're gonna put 39 twice right here okay so two at 39 next one we got we got two at 36 right here okay we got two at 36 right there so what we could do here is go ahead and write 36 36 right here but not one time two times okay two times okay whoop i didn't mean to do that one right there so now after we got that going on we got one at 35 as you could see the next one's one at 35 so what we're gonna do is add another 35 over here well i mean i already know what we're doing because you know i prepped myself for this bad boy and we got one at 30 one at 30 so now we're gonna put a 30 here but we gotta make sure to read carefully to make sure we did this correctly calculate the mean of actual on task hours so what are we going to do we're going to add up the numbers right we're going to add up our numbers and then we're going to divide we're going to divide by our seven numbers so we're going to hit 40 enter 39 plus 39 plus 36 plus 36 plus 35 plus and 30 plus now we're gonna go ahead and hit 7 divide and we got ourselves a beautiful answer of 3.64 times 10 to the first all right or 36.4 easy as that all right ladies and gentlemen let's keep it going the average of eight numbers is 216 so it even tells us average but average means the mean the average of another three numbers is 578.2. Calculate the overall average, okay? So let's set this bad boy up. We got eight numbers times 217.6, all right? But then we also have three numbers at 578.2, all right? Now what do we do? We're going to go ahead and put them together because we're going to add all the numbers together. Now, how many are you going to divide by? Some people would say two. Namre, dude. We're going to divide by 11 because we have eight numbers in the first average and three numbers in the second. So we're dividing by a total of 11. So let's get it. 217.6, we hit enter. Eight multiply, okay? We're going to do 578.2. We're going to hit enter. Three multiply. Add them up. And then 11 divide. And now we got our answer. 3.16 times 10 to the second. Or 316. All right. Dude, I love me some mean. I really mean it. Let's get it. All right. The average of the first six numbers is 256 and a half. The average of the next eight numbers is 199.7. Calculate the overall average. Let's do it. We're going to do six times 256.5 because there's six numbers. 
we're going to add it to 8 times 199.7. Okay? 6 and 8 make a total of 13. And now we could do this problem. 256.5, we hit enter. 6 multiply. 199.7, enter. 8 multiply. And we're going to add them. And we're going to do 14, divide. And we end up with, uh-oh, I think I did something wrong here. I got 1.41. I know that's wrong. I know it's wrong. 256.5, enter. 6, multiply. 199.7, enter. 8, multiply. Add them. And then 14, divide. And now I got a reasonable answer. Why was 1.41 unreasonable? Because our answer's got to be between 256 and a half and 199.7. You got to think reasonableness. And my answer is 224. Or 2.24 times 10 to the second power. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going. All right here. We got ourselves a beautiful problem. We got seven numbers. The average is 316.5. The average of another five numbers is 825.1. Calculate the overall average. Easy work when we get the hang of this. We got seven numbers times 316.5, okay? Because we got seven numbers, that, that's the average. Then we got five numbers that's 825.1 right and now since we got seven in the first average five five count them five in the next average put them together and we end up with 12. so now we got our little equation we ready to work 316.5 we hit enter seven multiply then we're gonna do 825.1 we hit enter five multiply we hit plus, we hit 12 divide, and we end up with 528. 5.28 times 10 to the second, or 528, all right? 528, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Now this problem right here, I like this problem a lot. It's a good problem. It tells us the average of five numbers is 122.8. It already tells us what this is. The first four numbers are this, that, this, and the other one, right? But notice what it says here. Notice what it says here. Calculate the value of the fifth number. We're going to have to do some algebra here, and I like that. So let's take a look. We know the average of the five numbers is 122.8. That's our answer. But we got to work backwards. We got to work it to the back. <laughs> so we're going to get that number here. And that equals to. Well, what's that equal to? Well, it's going to equal to 154.8 plus 100.9 plus 98.3 plus 111.1 but that's only four numbers here we need to find the average but wait a second there was five numbers here so we're missing something we're gonna add the letter x and at the end divide by five all right so the first step we got to do to undo this order of operations is we're going to multiply both sides by 5. We're going to multiply both sides by 5 here. What happens to the 5? I multiply on the right. Well, it cancels out. This 5 and this 5 go away. And now we're going to end up with 1, 2, 2.8, enter, 5, multiply. I'm going to hit yellow show on my calculator. Yellow show. Remember, your calculator yellow show it's above the enter button right and guess what i have when i do the left side i have 614 614 is now 122.8 times 5. now i know on the right side the 5 canceled out with the 5 we multiplied but we could actually make 
the right side a little easier. We could do 154.8 enter. We could do 100.9 plus. We could do 98.3 plus. And we could do 111.1 plus. And guess what I get on the left side? Sorry, the right side. I get myself 465. All right. Point one. I hit yellow show. I got 4.65 times 10 to the second power. But when I hit yellow show, I see 465.1. And I'm going to add that with the letter X. So I'm adding here. What I need to do, what I need to do is I'm going to end up having to subtract 465.1 from both sides. Guess what happens with the 465.1? They're gonna cancel out on the right. And then I end up with my answer. So hopefully on your calculator, you still see 6.14 times 10 to the second as my top line. And you see 4.65 times 10 to the second as the line underneath it. And now we are gonna hit subtract to connect them. And we should end up with our answer of 148.9. Where did I get that? I got it from yellow show. Yellow show. And that equals to the letter X. All right. That's my algebra right here. That's that algebra coming in. All right. That's the algebra coming in. Or we just write 1.49 times 10 to the second or 149. You better not write 148.9. You do that, that's four significant digits. Count it wrong. So we cannot do that. But what we can do is make sure we do the work correctly, all right? So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I like these problems, all right? So check this out. The average of seven numbers is 57.38. That's what I see here, and hopefully that's what you see. So the first six numbers are 72.1 plus 50.8 plus 37.6, okay, plus 84.3 plus 101.9 plus 11.6. We need to calculate the value of the seventh number. So we got seven numbers really, plus x. And at the end, we divide by 7. So, of course, the first step we do is multiply by 7 on both sides. We got 7 times 57.38, right, is now equal to 72.1 plus 50.8 plus 37.6 plus 84.3 plus 101.9 plus 11.6 plus x. Last step, I'm gonna write it out for y'all. Subtract the numbers from the product of seven and Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh wow, man, that says seven then. Let's write it again, the product of seven and 57.38. And that's what we need to do, all right? So we're gonna get 57.38, enter. Seven, multiply, we're working backwards. We're doing the steps in the opposite way opposite we're doing the opposite okay we're doing the opposite i didn't like how that o looks so let me delete that o real quick we are doing the opposite okay well that o still looks a little bit off the screen it's right there a little bit off the screen why are you looking so off the screen opposite it is okay but we're doing the opposite here okay so we're gonna go ahead and get 57.38 multiply it by seven and then we're going to subtract all the other numbers. 72.1, subtract. 50.8, subtract. 37.6, subtract. 84.3, subtract. 101.9, subtract. And 11.6, subtract. 
and I end up with 43.4 or 4.34 times 10 to the first and that's what it is my friends that's how you do it okay let's take a look at the other number okay the mean of a set of five numbers is boom so our numbers is 273.877. We're gonna multiply it by five. Why? Because we are working, not forwards, but backwards here. We're working backwards, okay? We're working backwards. After you get that answer, we're gonna get that answer. We're gonna take away, we're gonna subtract 727 minus. 272 minus 277 minus 772 and that's gonna equal to X which is the fifth number now be careful here because you gotta make sure there's a lot of sevens and twos here and that you don't mess it up by writing numbers incorrectly or something like that but we're gonna get 273.877 we hit enter we're going to hit 5 multiply, 727 minus, 272 minus, 277 minus, 772 minus. Oh, this one looks a little random. I got a negative number, but let me try one more time. This could have been because I did it wrong, so let me do it one more time. This problem is easy enough that you could do it twice, but it's okay. And a negative number doesn't necessarily mean we're wrong. It just means that, well, it's a negative number. But I'm going to do it again. 273.877, enter. 5, multiply. And now we're going to go ahead and do 727 minus. 272 minus. 277 minus. And 772 minus. Guess what? I got that negative number once again. And that means that it's probably correct. So we're going to go ahead and use that negative number. And we're going to go ahead and write negative 6.79 times 10 to the second. Some of y'all want to write it as negative 679, and that's that, okay, ladies and gentlemen? So that's how we do it, okay? That's how we do it here, okay? That's exactly how we do it, okay? So there we go, all right? Negative 679, okay? Let's go ahead and keep it going. Let's go ahead and keep it going right here, okay? So now we got ourselves, calculate the overall average of seven numbers, okay? We got seven numbers going here, right? Seven complete numbers here, okay? Uh, if the average of the first two numbers is nine, okay. So we got two times nine. And the last five numbers is 16. So we got two averages given to us and we're gonna have to combine it. But now remember, since there's seven numbers now, we're gonna divide by seven. So let's go ahead and get it popping here, okay? Let's go ahead and get it popping. So I think in this problem here, we're going to go ahead and start using what? What are we going to use here? Mm, not sure, not sure here. I don't know. I think in this problem, we're going to go ahead and hit 2, enter, 9, multiply. We're going to hit 16, enter, 5, multiply. Add them together, and 7, divide. And I end up with, uh oh, be careful. If you wrote 1.40 times 10 to the first, incorrect. This answer would be all wrong. It'd be super wrong. They'd count this super wrong. We got to write it as an integer. So you hit yellow show, and our correct answer is 14. That's our correct answer here, okay? 14. Okay, let me see. I want to change this color here. I ain't feeling it. Let's change it to that. There you go. There you go. Let's do another one. The average of five numbers is 72.71. Okay, so we got five numbers. That's 72.71. Okay, but now we're going to add another number. So we're going to go ahead and add another number. Okay. So now, after we add another number, we find the average. We divide by 6 now. The average equals to 71.72. We need to calculate the value of the number that was added, okay? That's a good problem here. So really, the first thing we got to do here is we're going to go ahead and, hmm, let's go ahead and change this bad boy right here. Let's see what we got here. Bam. Let's change it to brown. Brown town. Yeah. So what we should have done 
is we're gonna go ahead and multiply this by six, okay? Let me make it a little bit darker here, okay? After we multiply both sides by six, guess what happens to my sixes on the left? They cancel out. The six on the right, let me make it a little darker for you, is gonna now be multiplied. So let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and 71.72, enter, six multiply. I get about 4.30 times 10 to the second. Or if you really wanna be on the right track, we got 430.32. Now that equals to five parentheses 72.71 plus x all right so what we got well we gotta simplify it first let's do this let's do 72.71 enter we're gonna hit five multiply and what this really becomes is 363.55 plus x and all of that still equals to 430.32 so last step here ladies and gentlemen we're gonna subtract both sides by 363.55. Whatever you do on the left, you best do on the right. You better do it on the right. Guess what happens on the left side? They cancel out. So now we got ourselves 430. Now look, my calculator still has numbers there. So all we gotta do is hit subtract. And when I hit subtract, I get 66.77 equals to x but you better not write that down you're gonna go ahead and write 6.68 times 10 to the first if you want you can go ahead and write 66.8 you write 66.77 wrong format it will not be counted okay it will not be counted ladies and gentlemen and that's why we got to make sure that we know what we're doing here okay because if we know what we're doing we're gonna always get these correct but if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna end up with a big problem. And that's not what I'm about. I want problems solved, all right, ladies and gentlemen? Let's keep it going. All right here, we got the average of 23 numbers is what? What do we see? Average of 23 numbers is 578.4, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. We got 23 numbers, so we're gonna do 23 times 578.4. If 22, two, and 1007 are added so we're going to add those numbers so we're going to put plus two 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 plus 1007 is added to the group of numbers calculate the new average of the what of the 25 numbers so we're going to get all that divide by 25 so let's do it let's do it we're going to put 578.4 we're going to hit enter we're going to go ahead and put 23 multiply we're gonna hit two, 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 enter. Actually, I wouldn't have hit enter. Let me do this one more time. 578.4, we hit enter. 23, multiply. Two, 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 plus. And then 1,007 plus. 25, divide. And we end up with 5.81 times 10 to the second. Or if you wanna write it the real way, 581. That's standard notation, okay, ladies and gentlemen? Let's keep it going. The average of five numbers is that we got five numbers okay so what we're gonna do is basically get 390.2 multiply it by five all right and then after that we know the first four numbers so let's take them away we're gonna do three two one point eight take away five sixty two point five take away four seven nine point three and take away two oh one point nine so that's what we got to do. But wait a second. We might be doing more work than necessary because what it's really asking for is to calculate the sum of the five numbers. I would have gotten the big old X, big old wrong, because we don't need to do all this work. How do we calculate the sum of the five numbers? We only need to do one thing, and that's this part here. All of this stuff right here Everything here is not to find the sum. It's to find the missing fifth number. So do I really have to do any of that? You do that, you get it wrong. So don't do it. That's why we got to learn how to do the problems. That is unnecessary. There's only one thing we need to do, and that's this right here. You do that right there, and you're good to go. So let's do it. We're going to get 390. Point two, hit enter. Five multiply, and that's it. 
1.95 times 10 to the third or 1950. That's what it is, all right? So make sure you read carefully because if you don't read carefully, you may end up in some big, big problems that we don't need. All right, now I like these right here. This is gonna be a different kind of meme and I mean it right here. <laughs> I like this problem. The geometric mean of a group of numbers is the nth root of their product. So we gotta calculate the geometric mean of 27 and pi. So what does it mean by nth root? So in this case, we got two numbers and we're gonna do the product. So we're gonna do 27 and we're gonna multiply it by pi, all right? But now we gotta do the nth root. Since there's two numbers, well, we're just gonna do the square root. And that's all we gotta do, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do 27 enter. Yellow pi, multiply, and then square root that bad boy. And we end up with 9.21 times 10 to the zero. Or better yet, 9.21. Easy work, all right, let's keep it going. So calculate the geometric mean. Oh, there's another one, another geometric mean, another geometric mean of the largest two digit prime number, okay? Hope you remember that one. We were practicing that. Largest two digit prime number, 97. And then the square root, the square root of pi. So we're gonna basically get 97 and multiply it by the square root of pi. So we're gonna put 97, right? We're gonna get the square root of pi. We're gonna multiply them and then we're gonna square root our answer. And that's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna get 97, enter. We're gonna get yellow pi square root. Hit multiply. I see 1.722 times 10 to the second. And our last step is we square root. And I got, and hopefully you got, 1.31 times 10 to the first, or 13.1. Easy work, ladies and gentlemen. When you try, easy work happens. All right, let's keep it going. Calculate the geometric mean. We gotta get that geometric mean of the largest, oh wait, this is a diff, oh, the largest prime number less than 100, and the smallest palindrome greater than 100. Okay, well we just used the largest prime number less than 100, what was it? It was 97, because 100 is a three digit number, and so less than 100 means it's gotta be the largest two digit number. But the smallest palindrome greater than 100, Remember, a palindrome is the same forwards as backwards, the same thing. And so the smallest palindrome is 101. 101 forwards going this way is the same as it written this way. That's a palindrome, okay? Remember that, remember that. We've seen palindromes before. So let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. We're gonna do 97, and we're gonna multiply 97 by 101. And since there's only two numbers, we're gonna square root them, all right? So let's do it, 97 enter, 101 multiply, and then we hit square root, and we end up with 9.90 times 10 to the first, or 99.0, that's what it is, all right? Next one, calculate the geometric mean of 50 and 500. So it's gonna be 50 times 500, and then we, square root those bad boys so let's do it all right 50 enter 500 multiply square root and i end up with and hopefully you end up with 1.58 times 10 to the second or 158 that's what it is all right let's keep it going calculate the geometric mean oh i like this geometric mean here we're gonna do the geometric mean let me move this highlighter. I didn't like this highlighter where it is. Let me put it over here. We're gonna go ahead and do the geometric mean of the first five prime numbers greater than 100. Ooh, this one's gonna be good. First five prime numbers greater than 100. Now, yet again, if you don't know these things, you could always look them up. But, you know, if you memorize them, then you could actually get them super easy, okay? And that's what you gotta do. You gotta get them in your mind. Mind muscle, make it happen. So let's go ahead and do it. Our first prime number greater than 100 is my good friend, Mr. Palindrome, 101. And then we got 103, all right? And then we got 
107, okay? And then we got 109, and there's one more we need. It's not 111. It's close, though. It's going to be 113, all right? 113. Those are the first five prime numbers greater than 100. So now we're going to go ahead and set this bad boy up. We're going to set this bad boy up. So how do we set this up? We're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to do 101 times 103 times 107 times 109 times 113. Now there's five numbers we're multiplying. So now we're going to go ahead and do the fifth, the fifth root. So let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to do 101 enter. 103 multiply, 107 multiply, 109 multiply, and 113 multiply. And now we're gonna hit five yellow Y root X. And we get our answer here. 1.07 times 10 to the second, or 107. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a good problem. That's some good work. Let's keep it going here, all right? Let's keep it going. We need to find a geometric mean of the first 10 prime numbers. So let's write them out. Let's write them out. We got two times three times five times seven, not nine times 11 times 13. So how many is that? That's six times 17 times 19, not 21, but 23 and times one more. I believe that's one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and times 29 and then we're gonna find not the square root not the fifth root but the tenth root so let's do it two enter three multiply five multiply seven multiply eleven multiply thirteen multiply seventeen multiply nineteen multiply twenty three multiply twenty nine multiply and then we're gonna do ten y root x and our correct answer is nine point five seven times ten to the zero or 9.57, all right, let's keep it going. Calculate the geometric mean of pi times e to the fifth. We gotta learn how to use that e to the fifth, but we should do it by now. We should know how to do it, and 10 to the fourth. Now there's three numbers, so we're not gonna find the square root or the 10th root or none of that. We're gonna find the third root, so let's do it. Yellow pi. Now we're gonna hit five blue e to the x. Hit multiply. And then one more, 10, enter, 4y to the x, and you hit multiply. I see 4.66 times 10 to the 6. But we got one more step. We got a cube root it. 3y root of x. Hit that yellow before you hit that y root of x button, and we end up with 167. Or 1.67 times 10 to the second. Okay, easy work. Let's keep it going, all right? We got ourselves pi to the fifth. We're doing the geometric mean, so we're going to multiply times the log of 251 times e to the 27 times natural log of 82. It's a crazy problem, but we could use all those buttons, and now we're going to fourth rooted okay so we're gonna hit yellow pi 5y to the x we're gonna hit 251 and then hit yellow log and then we're gonna hit multiply we're gonna hit 27 blue e to the x hit multiply and then we got one more we're gonna hit 82 blue ln hit multiply 4 y root of x after you hit the yellow arrow and we end up with 6.44 times 10 to the third, or 6,440. Easy work, all right? Let's keep it going. So we now gotta find the geometric mean of 12 times 17 times 20. And we do that by multiplying them and finding the cube root. So we're gonna hit 12 enter, 17 multiply, 20 multiply, three y root of x. And our answer is 1.60 times 10 to the first or 16.0, okay? There you go, geometric mean in a nutshell, all right? So let's keep it going here. The harmonic mean of a set of numbers is gonna be what? 
Hmm. The reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of the reciprocal. Now the reciprocal basically means the multiplicative inverse, okay? That's another word for reciprocal. Multiplicative inverse, all right? A uh, way we do that on our calculator is what we do is we hit one over X. That's the reciprocal right there. That's this right here, the multiplicative inverse, okay? But we're gonna have to use the arithmetic mean of the reciprocals, okay? So we need to find a harmonic mean. Remember, this is all about this bad boy, super important, of four and nine. So what we gotta do is this. We're gonna have four, but not just four, we're gonna have one over x four. That's one over four, okay? Plus, all right, plus. You know what, I don't like writing it like this. I'm gonna write it this way, okay? I'm gonna write it this way. I'm gonna write it like this, okay? I don't like writing it like that. Let's write it like this, because that's a little bit nah. Let's write it this way. We're gonna have one over four plus one over nine. We're gonna get this all and divide it by two. And at the end, we're gonna go ahead and one over exit. That's what it is, okay? That's what it is, so let's do it. We're gonna hit four, we're gonna hit four, one over x, boom. We're gonna, so I got 2.50 times 10 to the negative first right now. I'm gonna hit nine, one over x, which is 1.11 times 10 to the negative first. We're gonna add them. So I got 3.61 times 10 to the negative first. All right, then we're gonna hit two divide. Two divide because there's two numbers we added and I see 1.81 times 10 to the negative first. Last step, we hit one over X. And now I got my answer of, hmm, this doesn't seem correct. Seems like I did something wrong. I'm gonna try one more time here because this seems a little off. We got four one over X. We got nine one over X. We add them. Then we do two divide and then one over X. I don't know about this bad boy right here. I don't know if it's supposed to say the word integer here. I don't know if it's supposed to say that because really I don't have an integer answer. I have 5.54 times 10 to the zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check this out real quick because I feel like I'm doing it right, but I don't know why it says integer. I don't know why, because really the formula is basically there. It's basically there. So let's go ahead and find out the harmonic mean of four and nine. Okay, what is the harmonic mean of four and nine? So let's do four and nine, and we're gonna go ahead and do the problem. Okay, let's see, let's see what we got. It gives me five, but yeah, I mean, that's the answer. The harmonic mean is that. So I think they might have messed this problem up. Sometimes mistakes do happen, especially since this is probably the first time they did the harmonic mean. Maybe they didn't put the correct number here the very first time. But in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, we did the work correctly. We did it correctly because I do the work and I just wanted to make sure I'm checking the answer. This is, we got it. There must have been an answer, an answer issue, okay? because that's how you do the problem. And I want to make sure, and you know me, Mr. Doe God, Mr. 500 here wants to make sure. So cross out that in. There was an ill issue here, but it's okay, it's okay. Sometimes mistakes happen. Do I make mistakes? So the people who make these questions make mistakes sometimes too. We got to understand that. But you got Mr. 500 here and we gonna make sure we can get them right. And that's what we talking about. We talking about that today, tonight, whenever you're watching it, we gonna get them right. That's what we do. That's what we do, all right? Hey, what am I talking into? I'm using my microphone right here ladies and gentlemen that's right that's right that's right okay so that's what i'm talking into just so you know i'm not just looking at the side and talking Nah, that's my microphone okay so let's do it let's make sure we can do it we're gonna calculate the harmonic mean of the first five prime numbers harmonic mean being the key term here so let's do it okay so we're gonna do one over two plus one over three plus one over five plus one over seven plus one over 11. 
Those are the first five prime numbers. We're going to get all that and we're going to divide it all by five because we got five numbers. And at the end of that, we're going to go ahead and do one over x. So let's do it. Let's get this bad boy. Let's get it popping, okay? We're going to one over x. So let's do it. Two, one over x. Three, one over x plus. Five, one over x plus. Seven, one over x plus. Remember, we're doing the reciprocal here. Eleven, one over x plus. We're going to hit five. We're going to hit divide. And at the last step, one over x it one more time. And we got ourselves 3.95 times 10 to the zero. Or 3.95. Sorry about that burp. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I had to burp a little bit because when I do math, I get a little bit excited. I get those gases building up inside me and I want to burp because, whoa, that's what it is. <laughs> so let's do it. We need to calculate the harmonic mean of five and seven. Let's get it popping, all right? So we're gonna do one over five plus one over seven, and we're gonna get that and divide it by two, all right? But then we're gonna do one over x. That's what we gotta do, so let's do it. Five, one over x. Seven, one over x plus two, divide, one over x. And that's all it is, baby, ladies and gentlemen. We got 5.83 times 10 to the zero, or 5.83. That standard form, and that's what we gotta get. We gotta make sure that happens, all right, ladies and gentlemen? So let's do it. Calculate the harmonic mean of the first five prime numbers. I feel like we did this already. Hmm, did we do this already? <laughs> it's okay, we'll do it again. So again, my prime numbers, remember, are two plus three plus five plus seven plus 11. All right, but it's not those numbers here. It's not those numbers. It's going to be one over those numbers. It's the reciprocals, right? We got to do the reciprocals, okay? Reciprocals. That's why we do the one over X. Remember, we got to use this button here. The one over X button. That's our best friend in all of these problems, okay? Since we added five numbers together, we divide by five. And our last step is to do one over X, all right? You see it right there. You see it right there. You know what I'm saying. So let's do it, okay? 2, 1 over x. 3, 1 over x plus. 5, 1 over x plus. 7, 1 over x plus. 11, 1 over x plus. 5, divide. And then we do 1 over x. So let's do it here, okay? We got 3.94, sorry, 95 times 10 to the 0. It better be 95. We just did that problem over there. We did it a little bit up there. Or 3.95. That's just what it is. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We got our next problem. Calculate the harmonic mean. So we got to do the harmonic mean right here of the two-digit even palindrome numbers. Okay, so let's see how many two-digit even palindromes we got. Okay, we got to get even numbers. So what's an even number? Two. So we're going to put 22. What's another one? You know what? Let me drop this a little bit. Let me drop this a little bit. I don't like this. Boom, boom. Let's drop it right here, 22, right? Another one is uh, 44. Another one, 66. Another one, 88. We got ourselves four digit, four, sorry, four, two digit, even palindromes. So we're gonna do one over 22 plus one over 44 plus one over 66 plus one over 88, and we're gonna divide by four. And at the end, we're going to go ahead and 1 over x it. And that's what we're going to do. So let's do it. 22, 1 over x. 44, 1 over x. 66, 1 over x. 88, 1 over x. And you better have added them all, okay? So you got that 22, 1 over x. 44, 1 over x. I forgot to add them, so let me add them real quick, okay? 66, 1 over x. And 88, 1 over x. Okay, now we hit 4 divide. Now our last step is hit 1 over x, and we got our answer, 4.22 times 10 to the first, or 42.2. Ladies and gentlemen, these are easy problems, but you got to read carefully. you got to be careful. we got a couple more to go, and we're done. So what we got to do now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at something called the root mean square. Often abbreviated as RMS. It's a kind of average, okay? It's a kind of average that we use sometimes, okay? To calculate the RMS, 
First find the arithmetic mean of all the squares of the numbers and then take the square root of that result. Okay, so we gotta do the squares of the numbers, find the mean, and then square root the answer. So let's do it. We're gonna count the RMS of 22, 83, and 144. So look at what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna get 22, square it. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to 83, square it. And I'm gonna add it to 144, square it. Get that all and divide by three. And when we do that, we square root everything. And that's how we do the root mean square. Okay, so let's do it. 22 squared, which is blue squared, right? 83 blue squared plus 144 blue squared plus three divide. And last but not least, hit that square root. And we get 9.68 times 10 to the first, or 96.8. That's how we do it, all right, ladies and gentlemen? Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. All right, so this one, let's set it up. We're gonna have 27 squared plus 38 squared plus 49 squared plus 50 squared. Divide it all by four, and at the end, we square root it. That's how we do it. So let's do it. 27 squared, 38 squared, add it. 49 squared, add it. 50 squared, add it. 4 divide, square root, and we're in game town. 4.21 times 10 to the first, or 42.1. Easy work, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it going, okay? We got to find the root mean squared in this problem. Root mean squared of the two digit prime numbers less than 20. So we gotta find all two digit prime numbers less than 20. So let's start off with 11 squared, plus 13 squared, plus not 15 divisible by five, but 17 sure is 17 squared, plus 19 squared. So there's four numbers that are primes that are two digits that are less than 20. So we're gonna divide by four. And then we're gonna square root at the end. That's the root mean squared, all right? So let's do it. 11 squared, 13 squared plus, 17 squared plus, 19 squared plus, four divide, and then we hit square root. Easy problems, ladies and gentlemen, but you gotta do them. 1.53 times 10 to the first, or 15.3. That's easy, that's easy. So you can make it happen, my friends. We got one more to do. But this one's a doozy right here. This one, well, not one more. We got two more. But these are doozies. These are big boy, big girl problems. So we got to make sure we can handle them. So let's get it, okay? Let's get it. All right. So we got to calculate the arithmetic mean of the harmonic mean and geometric mean. Oof, ale. We're going to do some work here. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to basically get two averages. Add them up and then divide by two. It's an intense problem, so let's set it up. So the harmonic mean of 17, so we're gonna do 17, one over x, plus 23, one over x, plus 31, one over x, plus 97, one over x. Divide it by four, and then we're gonna one over x this. Boom, okay? That's the harmonic mean. Okay, that's what we got to do. That's the harmonic mean. All right, that's how we do the harmonic mean. Okay, but we're not just done with that. Now we're going to add that to, let's add that. Well, I don't like that color. Let's go, let's go undo this. And let's put a plus sign in green. Boom, boom. And now we're going to do the geometric mean, the geometric mean. That's where we're going to get 27, right? No, we're going to start with 17 times 23 times 31 times 97 and now we're gonna fourth root this right here okay fourth root right we get the fourth root of that bad boy and that's the geometric mean okay so we're gonna add those two up okay and then our last step is to get all of this right here. We're gonna get all of this right here and we're gonna divide it by two. This is an intense problem, but this is a state problem. This is what separates the people who are in the top 20, the people in the top 10. 
So we could do this type of work. All right, let's do it. 17, 1 over x. 23, 1 over x plus. 31, 1 over x plus. 97, 1 over x plus. 4 divide, 1 over x. So I got right here for my harmonic mean roughly 2.76 times 10 to the first. Hopefully you got that. Leave it in your calculator. Let's do the geometric mean now. Let's do the geometric mean now, okay? So now the geometric mean is going to be 17 enter, 23 multiply, 31 multiply, 97 multiply, 4 y root x. And so roughly what I get here is 3.29 times 10 to the first here for the geometric mean. You should see the 2.76 times 10 to the first as your first number. So what do we do at the end? We hit plus 60 or 6.05 times 10 to the first and then hit 2, divide. And now, and now we got our answer. Our answer is going to be 3.03 .03 times 10 to the first or 30.3. That's how we do this work. Easy work, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it going. All right. Calculate the product. Oof, we're going to do the product, man. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be good. So we got to get the product. Okay, so we're going to use three different colors of the arithmetic mean. Ooh. The geometric mean. Ooh. And the harmonic. Ooh. <laughs> of the first four prime numbers. Okay, so what's our first four and prime numbers? We're going to use two, three, five, and seven. Let's figure out the arithmetic mean. Okay, so my first one is going to be two plus three plus five plus seven divided by four that is the arithmetic mean okay that's the arithmetic mean okay we're gonna get that we're gonna get this okay and then we're gonna go ahead and get what well, what's next what's next we're gonna remember we're gonna multiply here so we're gonna put a little dot here okay we're gonna multiply that bad boy by what the geometric mean so let's do that one the geometric mean is going to be 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 to the fourth root, okay? That's the geometric mean, okay? Then we're going to multiply them, and we're almost done here, okay? And then we're going to do the, the arithmetic mean. We're going to go ahead and do 2, but 1 over x2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7 get that all and divide it by 4 and then 1 over exit that's what we're gonna do here boom now well, let me let me get that out of here let me do it like this boom boom okay that is the harmonic mean this is an intense problem ladies and gentlemen this makes sure you really know what you're doing so let's figure out these numbers. And remember, we're going to multiply them all at the end. So our arithmetic mean is 2 enter, 3 plus, 5 plus, 7 plus, 4 divide. So my arithmetic mean is roughly 4.25 times 10 to the 0. Okay? Well, that looks like a 6. I don't want it to look like a 6. I want it to look like a 0, what it is. Okay, there you go. That's a big old 0 right there. All right. Now we're going to do 2 enter, 3 times, 5 times, 7 times, 4 y root of x. And I end up with 3.81 times 10 to the 0. Already hit what? Multiply. Already multiply. Okay? Because we're doing the product. Remember, it even says calculate the what? The product. So we're going to hit multiply. Now I get 1.62 times 10 to the first. We got one more to do. The harmonic mean. Okay? So now I'm going to hit 2, enter, 1 over x. Okay, oof, Ale, I think I might have messed this bad boy up, okay? I think I might have to do this real quick. Okay, so anyways, so 2, 1 over x, okay? Then we got 3, 1 over x, all right? Um, one second. Then we got 5, 1 over x. Then we got 7, 1 over x. And then we got 4 divide. And then we got 1 over x. And I end up with, let me make sure I write it down, 3.40 times 10 to the 0. Now, of course, these are not exact here, okay? 
what I see is that 16.2 that I have in my calculator, that 1.62 times 10 to the first, it's my top number. I got 3.40 right underneath. I hit multiply, and now my correct answer is 5.50 times 10 to the first, or 55.0, okay, 55.0. So here's the problem. If you, like, didn't do the math, like, correctly like if something's a little bit off you might not end up with the correct answer here okay but sometimes if we write the numbers down like if i put 4.25 3.81 multiply and 3.4 multiply we would have gotten close enough we got i got 50 i got 5.51 times 10 to the first it would have been close enough but I do recommend if you do end up writing the numbers down, hit yellow show and write at least four significant digits because this is an intense problem. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I got it wrong the first time I had to redo it while I was doing that harmonic mean. When I was saying the harmonic mean, I was really redoing this problem again because I ended up pressing one number incorrectly and it all falls apart. So you got to remember this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. But at the end of the day, easy stuff. Mean is easy. This problem was a little intense. I mean, the last two were pretty intense, but we could do it. It takes hard work, but you work hard and we're going to make it happen because guess what? That's what I'm here for. Mr. 500 doing it big and you're going to be doing it real big if you work with me because that's what we do. We do it bigly. All right. So I hope you have a good night and I hope you have some good time learning. All right. Peace out.